You can also choose to use Entrip, and this is the why my receiver is currently disconnected from my rover via Wi-Fi. My Wi-Fi on my controller is connected to my office Wi-Fi. That's where my internet comes from. But if you put a SIM card in this device on the right of your controller, you can pull out a little SIM card slot and slot your own whatever cell phone service provider SIM card in there. And the data will then become a connection via a SIM card to this controller. Then you can connect by Wi-Fi to your receiver and have a much faster connection going on between the controller and the receiver. And if you use a i93 visual survey function, you will need that Wi-Fi connection. Otherwise, the connection or the visual survey tools will not work. Now, in this case, my controller has internet via Wi-Fi, but my receiver is connected to my rover via Bluetooth. So if I want to change over to a Entrip correction, I just go to Entrip. And you can see the mount point is currently RTK Net Western Cape. If I say accept, it's now. Entrip login successful. Okay, so. Receiving correction data. Yep, so you can see the connection was made to the rover. It is set up as a Entrip rover at the moment. Corrections are passed to the receiver via the internet, via my home office Wi Fi. The RTD at the top just signifies that we are getting a correction, but it's not good enough, mainly because I'm indoors. So the GPS signal coming through my roof is not sufficient to give us a fixed Flow. solution. There it increased it's enough data to get a solution of position somehow. We are on a float right now, but we want to have that float icon change to a fix. That is very important. Do not survey if you don't have a fixed solution. But let me change this now. If I go to GNSS Rover and I swipe to the right there, I will go and edit this. At the bottom of the screen, you have a mount point option. Now, you can change your mount point to anything that's closer to you. So if you say get mount point, the program will list all the mount points in your vicinity. So based on your current position, you can choose to mount to a single station, which is sometimes advisable if you're outside the network of the VRS. So if you're in Cape Town, you could use the, the RTK Western Cape to use the VRS solutions. But if you're, say, 50 or 60 kilometers outside of that network, it might be better, like if you go to Armanis or you go to George, or you go to Bloemfontein, or PE, it's better to go and find the connection that's closer to your region. So you will see the distance listed based on the station that's closest to you in this list. Mine is quite uh, inaccurate at the moment because I'm indoors and my GPS is not giving me real coordinates. But let's say I want to connect to Stellenbosch. I could then say Entrip and give this thing a name at the top there. Let's call this Entrip and call this Stellenbosch. All right, so that's a good connection for me. And you can ask the program in the previous versions of Landstar, you could actually tell it to ask you what connection to use every time. In this version, unfortunately, it seems like you have to create a Entrip connection for single mount stations every time. But since it's so quick to do, you just go and say save it and exit. Or Entrip lock receiving correction data. And that connection is automatically made to that single station. And if you want to change it to a new station, just go back in there, swipe, edit, and choose a new mount point. It's as easy as that. Entrip lock receiving correction data. All right, so at this stage, you would wait for your GPS to change to a fix. So I'm just walking out the door with this receiver. I just want to show you one fix going forward. Uh, look at the satellite count. It will immediately start picking up. So we are picking up 9, 11 satellites. And if you look at your receiver, the orange light 
flow. Should change to green momentarily. It's currently orange. So as soon as it goes into a fix, it will change to a green fix. color. There we go. So you have a fix. And you can see if I click on my quality settings there, our accuracy is quite good.